one of the requests you had was uh, an acoustic guitar. You got me it. Yeah, we did get you it. And, Thank uh, you. And I want to ask you why. Is it because is, is you're in the middle of writing right now? Or is it just because you wanted something to do at night? Or No, it's uh, for writing. There's okay. a few things I need to write for. Not least that uh, Bee Cake are making a new album. Yeah. We start that in about three weeks. So there's a lot of work to be done. So, yeah. Weirdest thing you've ever had to sign? I did sign a breast. Okay. Uh, is this, uh, it, 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 and that's not weird, but this particular one was. Uh, no, I, 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 I actually. <laughs> the best interview ever. I, no, I did. I signed a girl's chest. Okay. And, uh, I, I, you know, she, she said, would you mind signing my chest? And I said, no, I'd be delighted. Uh, and I signed her chest, and the next day she came in and had had it tattooed, tattooed on. Yeah, but you know, uh, if I'd known she was going to do that, I would have taken a little more care with the signature because okay. I actually spelt my name wrong. And You're uh, kidding me? Yeah, uh, it wasn't a good signature. Okay, uh, but she's got it now for the rest of her life. Guilty pleasure when come it comes on. to music. Guilty pleasure when it comes to music. Yeah, something you wouldn't want anybody to know you listen to. Uh, well, there wouldn't be much point telling you. That's a good answer. That's a good enough answer. Uh, but uh, I've got a, a wide and eclectic taste in music, so I'm up for everything. Um, you know, I like old school stuff from um, you know Harvey Mandel to uh, Howl and Wolf, uh, and I like I like new stuff. You know, I like Nirvana, Foos, um, Stones, you name it. I mean, so you're, so you're, I so you're, a, you're a rocker at heart. Lord, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand uh, artist Lord is phenomenal. Next year for my horror fans. Uh, uh, Fear Clinic, the movie Ooh, comes out in okay. February. Yeah, nice. And Thomas Decker from uh, Terminator: The Sarah yeah. Connor Chronicles. Course, Thomas is great in this yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's I've really good. Talked to him before. Yeah, he's Corey right. Taylor from Slipknot's in it. And love Slipknot. Yeah, are you kidding me? Brad Dorf. Corey Taylor. Corey hey, Taylor. Up. I yeah. love Slipknot. Oh, Corey's great. He's, isn't he one of the nicest guys? But he has groupies everywhere. I used yeah, to go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard. To I would try there, to right? go to the coffee shop after shooting, and and it would be full of the leftover Corey Taylor groupies. I can tell you the first single. Yeah. First single was Cool for Cats, okay. Squeeze. Okay. Album, oh, Adam and the Ants. Adam and the Ants? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I think it was, in fact, it was Adaman, friend or foe. Okay. I think it was the first one I actually like, had the money myself. And the first concert you ever went to? Uh, I know the answer already, but I want to hear it again. No, the first concert I ever went to was the Dooleys. Oh, okay, okay. One of the coolest concerts I've ever seen was U2, uh, Unforgettable Fire Tour, and Jim Kerr got on from uh, Simple Minds and, and sang a song with him at the end. Oh. Or two songs, I think. I hate you. <laughs> it was great. Little Richard, and why? 1955, orange cover, uh, because Tutti Frutti was on it, the cut. Uh, if you Google uh, Tutti Frutti or Wikipedia, it will tell you how important that kind of music was. And also there's sort of a, a backstory to their lyrics and all kinds of things. So I didn't know all that then. I just bought it because I liked the goddamn song. It was wonderful, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's the first one I bought. I think it was either a Beatles album or a Beach Boys album. I really can't remember. I think it was the, the a really early early Beatles album that had uh, one of my favorite songs, Anna, John okay. Lennon lead vocal. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So whatever album has Anna on it, I don't think it was Meet the Beatles. It's it, it's an earlier album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. R.E.M.'s Green. Why? Why? Why is it my favorite? Why was it the first album you bought? Because uh, I oh I heard a couple of it. I heard I think it was uh, is it uh, Orange Crush on the radio and I thought I have to own that and uh, yeah so that was my first one. I you know I honestly can't remember it was probably as I, I think it was a soundtrack album I think 78 rpm 10 inch uh, on three discs the soundtrack from Captain from Castile. Ah well there you go. <laughs> do, do you still have a record player? Obscure. Do you still have a record yeah, player? Yeah. Do you still buy records? Not much. But uh, you still listen to your records. Uh, yeah, I do. Well, I want to give you something that we have at Shom, the rock station I work at. Okay. These are slip mats from our station that's been around for 45 hey. years. All so right. I want you to leave with a gift. Okay. Thanks so much for taking the time and talking to us.